At the very beginning of the story, we see a girl and a strange magical explosion. Later it is found out that she fell into a coma after this incident. Her brother visits her, who tells her that she is not the only one who has awakened the ability. The guy also had an ability, theft. With its help, he can steal abilities from other people, appropriating them to himself. Therefore, he takes an ability from his sister, learning that it is a D-rank ability, a mental explosion that sends a mental charge attacking enemies. We also find out that the girl's name is Yang Fei Fei. The guy wonders if the girl really inadvertently found herself in this position. At this time, screams are heard from behind the door. The girl's parents are in the hallway. The father shouts that the hero who did this is a murderer. The lawyer makes the argument that this hero saved more people. The man tries to explain that the fact that their daughter was in that store is just an accident. He says they didn't want it to happen either. But heroes aren't gods and can sometimes accidentally hurt others by fighting a monster. The girl's father shouts that he is not going to sign documents on monetary compensation. The lawyer is at a loss. At this moment, their son comes out of the ward. He picks up the documents thrown on the floor. The father shouts, asking if his brother wants to exchange his sister's life for money. The guy argues his actions by saying that the girl is in a vegetative state, and they need money to provide for her. Parents are terrified. The main character turns to a lawyer, saying that he wants to add additional conditions. He wants the hero who harmed his sister to apologize in person face to face, and also the company Kun Lun should make an official apology. The guy demands that the culprit personally come to the hospital. The lawyer reports that the A-rank hero has an overloaded schedule and Bing Chu and JR. That's the hero's name, would like to personally apologize, but is very busy fighting. The man says that they are ready to pay 100,000 more in the form of compensation. The guy agrees to such conditions and signs the papers. After leaving the hospital, the lawyer calls up with the hero, saying that the problems are settled, they only had to pay more. The hero is pleased with the lawyer's work, saying that the money will be sent soon. After the call, the lawyer dreams of awakening his ability. In the girl's room, the guy apologizes to his sister, asking her not to blame him for signing the contract, because she knows the situation of the family. The brother does not believe in the accident of this incident and wants to find out the truth. He believes that some awakened ones are not worthy of their abilities and decides to change this world. Next, we will find out who our main character is. His name is Yang Zai, a trainee reporter. To implement his plan, he moved out from his parents and came to Mingyu District. The guy meets his housemates. These are the girls Ding Lan and Sai Oai, a junior who entered this year. Dean reports that there is a third roommate who has not returned yet. Lan offers to celebrate Yang Zai's arrival, but he refuses, saying that he is tired and wants to rest, after which he closes himself in his room. The guy is studying videos about abilities and comes across a video in which his sister was wounded by a hero. From the video we learn that one day portals began to open all over the world from which monsters came out, and only thanks to the owners of abilities, who began to be called heroes, the planet could stop the invasion of these monsters. The law on abilities was also adopted, according to which only those who have passed the test and received a hero certificate can use their ability. Yang Zai doesn't notice anything suspicious and plans to review this video tomorrow. Paying attention to the time, the guy jumps out of bed and goes to brush his teeth, because it's already two and a half o'clock in the morning, and he has a lot of work tomorrow. Suddenly C notices a drunk girl in the hallway and assumes that this is the third roommate. A guy greets, to which the girl declares that, if he does not mind, she will be the first to take the restroom, after which she runs inside, as she feels bad. The guy thinks he shouldn't come close to her in this state and knocks on Dean's room. The girl opens, asking what he needs at such a time. Yang Zai explains the situation and Lan says to leave the girl like this until the morning, because this is not the first time, after which he goes to bed. The guy decides to help and carries the drunk on the sofa in his arms. He finds out that she has an ability that she probably doesn't even know about. Brain overload. Puts the brain in a state of overload for a short period of time, significantly increasing the computational abilities of the brain. And takes this ability away, saying that he will repay it somehow in the future. He wonders what effect this ability will have on him. The system offers Yang Zai to combine the ability's mental attack and brain overload, which the guide is by receiving the ability of D-plus rank superbrain, automatically sends mental attacks, a significant increase in the ability to calculate and deduct. He's going to find clues in that incident video. In the morning, Yang Zai wakes up to a knock on the door. The girl who was drunk yesterday is standing on the threshold. She returns the coat to the guy and introduces herself to Lin Neksu, thanking him for his help. Jan says there is no problem and introduces himself to the girl. Their conversation is interrupted by a chubby guy who entered the apartment, a friend of the main character. The fat man freezes and looks at the girl in shock, and then begins to resent that Yang Zai is dating someone behind his back. After learning that the girl is free, the guy introduces himself as Fan Pang. 
He flirts with her, telling her that he has the ability to take pictures with his bare hands and will gladly take a couple of photos for her. Yang Zai takes his friend away, saying that it's time for them. Watching the video of the attack, Yang notices a strange movement on the part of the hero and is just about to voice his guess, when suddenly Pen shouts that a monster, a one-eyed killer, has appeared on the street. A superhero of spicy and sour noodles appears on the battlefield. People are happy to see the hero. Fan Peng uses his ability to shoot the fight on video. Noticing that Yang is not there, Peng laughs at how weak ordinary people are. At this time, a hero with the rank of Fire Butterfly arrives. He and the hero Ostora and Sour Noodles come up with a plan to defeat the monster. The hero distracts the monster, after which a fiery butterfly brings down a column of flame on the creature. At this time, a live broadcast is being broadcast from the scene, the hosts of which are Director Ji and Mao Huang. The director says that earlier the hero of Noodles was narcissistic and selfish. He also says that this hero usually appears after others have already exhausted the monster to finish him off, since he needs to eat a plate of spicy and sour noodles to gain strength. At this moment, the heroes have already defeated the monster, as it seems at first glance. But suddenly the monster evolved and became fire-resistant. The hero of the spicy and sour noodles recalls a conversation where he learns that if he fails at least once, he will lose all the glory and the money allocated for his sponsorship will go to the young heroes. Young Zai watches the battle around the corner of one of the buildings. He notices how the older hero eats exactly the same pill that he saw on that video. Suddenly, the monster grabs a fiery butterfly with its tentacle and she asks for help in the elder. Yand, that's the name of the fiery butterfly, screams that he doesn't want to die. And then the elder hero comes to her aid. He cuts the tentacles and catches the girl. The men leading the stream are actively commenting on what is happening. Director G is clearly surprised by the outcome of events, because he did not expect that the elder would be able to go alone to the monster. At this time, the hero of the spicy and sour noodles dodges the attack of the one-eyed killer and conducts a sharp sour blow, hitting the enemy, after which he falls to his knees, spitting blood. Yanda wants to help the elder and notices that something is happening to him. The elder hero is trying to control the power given by the pill. He smiles and says that everything is fine and he just used too much of his strength. People around rejoice and admire the heroes. Yang Zai is watching this and is about to leave, planning to prepare the news when he returns. Suddenly he notices movement at the monster's corpse. This is a small copy of the one-eyed killer. He moves towards the guy, wanting to make him his master in order to grow up and take revenge on the heroes. The guy analyzes the situation and decides that the mental attack will be the weak point of the monster. Yang attacks the creature and it dies. The fire butterfly feels that someone is using an ability. Yang Zai takes the monster's ability. He gets a B, rank ability, fire shield, immunity to fire attacks below B rank, significantly increases physical defense. While the guy is dealing with the new ability, the fire butterfly decides to check the place where, as it seemed to her, the ability was used. She's flying over buildings, asking who's here. Ian instantly hides around the corner, deciding that it's not yet time for the heroes to find out about him. Yenda lands and looks around. She felt a sharp influx of psychic energy and saw someone. A voice is heard at the wall. A man in a strange suit and with a white mask asks if she is looking for him. The girl asked if he had used the ability. To this, the stranger came out of the shadows and replied that he had used the ability. The girl asked if he was a hero, because she had not seen him before. A guy in a rooster costume called himself an ordinary passerby and threw a monster corpse in her direction. Yanda is scared that he can kill such a strong monster in an instant, but she believes that he should not use abilities without permission. Therefore, the girl blocks the stranger's path with her hand, demanding to stop. She says that he must go with her to the Association of Heroes and pass the test. The guy says she won't stop him. The girl is going to attack him, because by law she has the right to take action. The stranger says that heroes shouldn't do this to ordinary people and crushes one of her fire butterflies. The heroine gets scared, begs not to kill her, and then flies away. Under the mask turns out to be Yang Zai. He assumes that the hero in the video also took a blue pill. The guy is sure that he will find out the whole truth. He rides the subway and reflects that he needs to stop collecting abilities for now and focus on the development of brain overload. He also needs to find information about the blue pill. An unknown man standing in front of him apologizes and walks away. Jan notices that his backpack with the rooster costume is missing. He is sure that the strange man did it and decides to find him by the smell. The guy succeeds, but for some reason the aura and clothes of the man are different. Yang Zai assumes that this is the ability to change appearance and decides that it will be useful to him, so he begins to pursue the man. The thief is walking down the street, rejoicing at the catch, but suddenly notices the surveillance. The man takes off, trying to hide. Jan catches up with the thief in a public toilet. He tries to etch the thief with threats, but nothing comes out. 
The guy has a hunch that the man hid in the women's toilet. Yang Zai enters the women's restroom and knocks on one of the booths, telling the thief to get out. He tries to pretend to be a girl, calling the guy a pervert. Then Jan knocks the door off his foot. Various female accessories immediately fly into the guy, dodging most of them. He says that the thief has a very unusual ability, since he also changed his voice. The man apologizes and replies that this is his first time. The thief was dressed like a girl of easy virtue. Yang Zai says that the ability cannot change his body and appearance. The man returns the guy's backpack with things. Jan checks the contents. When everything is in place, takes an oath from the thief that he did not look inside. The guy tells the man to find a normal job in the future and be a good person. The thief promises that he will never steal again and thanks him for sparing him. But the guy replies that there will be no mercy and takes the ability. While the man is unconscious, the guy changes his clothes for an official suit and goes outside. There he meets two policemen. They say they have received a message about a pervert in the women's restroom and ask if he has heard it. The guy says that he saw one disguised pervert who behaved suspiciously. As a result, the thief is arrested. A week later, Yang arrives for a meeting with Pan, who wanted to tell him something. The photographer says that he saw his girlfriend, Lin Naksu, at the club as a service staff. Yang tries to explain that she is not his girlfriend, but Fan Peng does not believe. They go into a club and a guy notices a girl dancing in a cage. Pen takes his friend to the free sofas. Lin also notices familiar guys and is surprised by their presence. When the guys sit down, Peng introduces a friend to his younger sisters, Sissy Pao Pao and Tian Tian. They think Ian is handsome and immediately sit down with him. Two people are drinking in the next place, the son of the mechanical hero Liu Yuan and his guard Li Han. Liu complains that he lost the race because of his brother, and the guard tells him not to complain. The guy and the man exchange caustic phrases, extraterrestrial Yuan beats Lin, who served him due to the fact that he did not like alcohol. He pours the contents of the bottle over her head. Yang Zai wants to intercede, but a friend stops him, telling him who these people are. Jan says he's just going to the bathroom. At this time, Li Yuan watches as Naksu is forcibly forced to drink this alcohol. Jan comes out in a rooster costume and saves the girl. The guy says he wants to make a deal with Liu Yuan. He immediately becomes interested, but the guard stops him. Li Yan is going to attack a stranger. Jan says he will teach him a lesson. The man is preparing to carry out his fire attack. 